morning, guys. It is Tuesday, Wednesday for you guys. <laughs> Sophie, get your shirt on. You're a nudie. <laughs> She's the craziest one of us all. Get dressed. Okay. Anyway, good morning, guys. Happy uh, Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. Anyway, um, I'm in the girls' room, and I'm just realizing this would be a great backdrop for any videos that we make because it's purely white. We could add no, anything in there. It's brown. Oh. Anyway, we are sadly getting ready for a funeral. Um, if you guys have been following us for any length of time, you know that my boys have a different father than my girls and that they, my boy's great granddad passed away yesterday and it was sad, right? Sad? Anyway, all three of my boys are going to be pallbearers and carrying the casket. With all the dead people in it. Anyway, so yeah, so if he's a little, uh, yeah, he's so he has creepy. No, he, he's actually going to be in the casket. They I are going to carry him to the church through the church. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to that. We and Sam is working that day, so the girls are going to have to come with me. So we're trying to figure out dresses. So I figured out my dress. I figured out Gabby's dress. Gabby's I just dress need is super high cute. Heels. Black high heels. Yeah, because what were you going to wear? Can she I was going to wear these. Instead. Can I wear this instead? So she wants to wear this dress, but it's got a lot of white on it. Or... One of these things awesome. better. So I'll show you that to me. Wait! Hairball. Yeah, I know. She got caught in her hair. Okay, so Sylvie's got these two dresses. She's got that one, and it actually looks really cute on her. And yeah, she has she's a little. Wear that one. She has a little sweater she can wear with it, or she's thinking she wants to wear this one, but it's got a lot of white on it for a funeral. Well, I'll show you it without this. Yeah, you should try that one on. I don't know if it fits you anymore. It's probably too short. It is super cute, though. It's too short, though. But anyways, I'm wearing this pretty. All right, well, we'll figure it out. So Gabby was going to wear these because these are the only ones that she had, but then she tried them on, and what happened? They don't fit. They don't fit anymore. My slime was completely dry. Now it's normal slime. Because you put water in it? Cold water. That's crazy. I put cold water on my finger and I rubbed it in there. Let's see, can I feel it? You have to put it in. I'm so addicted to slime. That's amazing. So anyway, I feel all the sparkles. The problem with Gabby is that all her black dresses are winter and she doesn't wear it black she doesn't wear any dresses but she still has black dresses i did manage to find this one dress it whoops sorry in her closet these are really great jumpers they just need to be oh my there. gosh gabby i found this one dress and it actually looks super cute on her it's the perfect age for her it it fits good so I'm she's gonna, gonna wear that so so is she paint my nails white or black I don't know. White. So see the little strap things on the dress, those little circles? She's these are thinking, jump rings. This, she's thinking these would make great jump rings so she can make saddles and stuff. Yeah, I can make a halter. So she can make a halter for her slight horses. But yeah, no, those are not jump rings. It is for a dress. They are actually jump rings. They are. All right, I'll give you that. Maybe they're jump rings, but they're... A, parts of a dress. So that's what Gabby's going to wear. Anyway, the funeral is on Thursday, Thursday. So a couple of days. So we have a couple of days to figure out what we're going to wear. In other news, hopefully there's a lot of cake. <laughs> there's no cake at a funeral. There's no cake. It says a goodbye cake. Don't worry. Oh <laughs> Look at it. It still works. I don't think there's a goodbye cake at a funeral. I just, I don't know. Just not thinking that that is a real thing. But Okay, so just wait. Don't walk too fast. I came out this morning. Wait. Put some recycling inside and big fluffy. Yeah. Yeah, so literally every time I, oh, we need some, we need something to give to him. squirrel that I raised. Yeah, we raised this little guy as a baby. Yeah, you thought he was a boy. I thought he was a boy, but now he's a mama, so it's not a boy. Isn't she yeah. cute, though? And, um, Don't move. I named him Flinch. Oh my gosh, but that is the cutest know. thing. She has mites. If you came over and were really nice to me, I'd put some medicine on you, and you would never have any bugs for a whole month. 
She wants food. That's what she comes up on the porch for. Oh, okay, we're just gonna back away slowly. Get some food. Get some food for her. Oh, look, she's just laying there. She's like, I know you're gonna get the food. Like, honestly, I cannot even believe how nice her, is she hurt? No. I've never seen her do that before. She's coming over. She's coming over. Look, she's so hungry. Look at her. She's like, get me the food. It's coming, it's coming. Are you so starving? Oh my gosh, I love wild animals, you guys. Here comes Gabby, she's got food for you. Hold on, what do you got? What do you have? Bread. bread, everybody's gonna complain that we're giving them bread, but they like bread. I'll get you something, I'll get you some fruit. <laughs> Oh, there she goes, up the tree. Oh, oh she's just going to sit That's right her there. normal sitting spot. Whenever Oops. we see her, she takes the food and goes over there. Is that your normal sitting spot? Yeah, she feels protected. Alright, let me go get her some fruit. Alright, for all of you people who think we should not be giving them bread, I gave her some cheese and some grapes. But look at this! Apparently, somebody's been so hungry when we were here on the weekend, they ate the wood on our porch. Oh my goodness. Don't eat the wood on our porch. When we came home from camping, I could hear the pool filter buzzing, making this crazy noise. And I came over and our water level was really low, which is weird. And we discovered a leak in the pool. So over there, see, the water level should be a little higher at the skimmer right there. So it's gonna be a scorching day today and we definitely wanna swim and Sam put like a makeshift little fix for it. So we're gonna be able to swim today, but Sam's gonna to go to this pool store and get an actual thing that he can fix the pool with so that we can actually swim. Cause it's gonna be scorching, super scorching hot. To catch you up on what's happening with Bailey, he's growing and changing all the time. It's time for him to eat. And I cleaned his little bowl, I cleaned out his bed. And Here's his food, it's steak and it's rolled in shells and calcium. And I just give it to him like that. But usually he won't eat from me, watch. See what he's doing there? He's like, no, put it in my bowl please. That's what he's saying to me. Get it in there. If I don't put it far enough in, he'll just spit it out. Oops. He'll, if I don't put it far enough in his mouth, he'll just spit it out so he's listening to me and hide it in his blankets. So I think that's probably what he's gonna do. So I end up just pouring a bunch of meat into his bowl for him. This is steak, not baby bunny. See, oh, he just spit it out and he'll hide it. It's so funny because he'll hide it right in front of me and he's so meticulous when he hides it. We're just watching you, Bailey. Come on. Show them what you can do. His sore nose is so much better. See, there's the piece that he was hiding. Watch. Oh, maybe we'll eat it. No, nope, he's going to hide it. Oh, goodness. Fling it. Oh, he ate it. Good boy. Good boy. Let's say hello. It's really fascinating to watch birds. I want a crow forever, but you can't have them forever. Oh, there he goes. That's a big piece. Good job. I don't know about you guys, but it is totally fascinating to me. I could watch it forever. Could watch him forever but he's not gonna live with us forever so for any of you guys who are new to our channel and you don't know we rescue a bunch of animals whenever we need to and someone called us and asked us to take this baby crow he was a lot younger back then and he's doing great and even though he can feed himself now which you can clearly see which you just clearly saw um he still can't hunt for himself he still can't hunt for himself. And another thing is crows stay together in a family for most of their lives. So for all their lives. So um, it's hard. It's hard to 
release a crow and him be all by himself and not have a family to help him and to take care of him and they can infiltrate another family but it's really hard and he is a submissive bird so that's lucky so he might have a chance but basically because he was taken away from the spot that he was found in people said that their mother was not taking care of him and he was really skinny and so yeah and I don't even know where he was found so I don't know how we're going to reintroduce him into the world but he's just been a joy to us and I don't want any other crows to be mean to him you hear that any crows are mean to you when you go out into the world grow up and go out into the world you come back and tell me okay I look forward to the day when I go outside and I see my crow sitting on the on the porch waiting for me to give him food. Just, just like I see the squirrel that we rescued last year. If I take the cover off the pool, are you guys going to swim? Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. We girls are playing schleich. Got all their horse stuff out. Yes, is this your favorite barn? Tell me the truth. Out of all the barns you own, is this your favorite one? The homemade one? Gabby made this, you guys. We're short a horse stall, but we're still. You're still you're short a horse stall. Yeah. Yeah. So then they have this little play barn too. Is that for? Oh, I see. You got stalls in there. And then there's a bed in the top there for your riders. They sleep above the barn and no, the hayloft. No, that's off. Sophie, but we pretend she has blonde hair so that she can be the standing up. Sophie. And then she's got a little Gabby. Sophie's got all her farm stuff over there. Yeah, it's still willow wood stables. It's we still do. Willow Wood Some of stables. our horses here don't like the horses over there, so we're Oh, I see. Here. Got it. Do you guys get that? Some of their horses fight, so they keep them separated, but it's all the same stable. And the horses are swimming. We set up some, a pool for them. And it appears, it appears that the horses are drowning. No, no. See, just wait, like swimming. It looks like, whoa. Dominoes. Dominoes. Hello. I guess that's a sign, go away. I'm interrupting your play. Yeah. Okay. Go away. You put too much water in Don't the pool. Don't it, Sophie. All right, I'm home, guys. And before I came home, I stopped off and got a patch kit because for some reason, when we came home on Sunday, we heard a big gush of water. And when I looked at the pool, there was uh, less water in there and what happened was I'm not sure if somebody poked our pool or what because how does that happen it's like a little tiny cut it's like a little tiny cut and it's cut like right there it's not this cap I checked it it's not so this cab, I checked it, there's a cut right there. And it was gushing. So what I did was, a little trick that will help. I put saran wrap <laughs> inside the pool. So it kind of sealed it for a while. It's still leaking a tiny little bit, but not as, not as good as it leaks without it. So that's stopping the leak. I'm waiting for the girls to get their bathing suits on so they can glue this inside the pool. This is a special vinyl repair. It has glue and a patch and it works underwater. So perfect. All right, Gabby's going down, <coughs> down to fix the leak. All right, Gabby. She doesn't even know where it is yet. Okay, she's down there. Can you guys see? She's up. You didn't even do it right on the thing. She <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Good try though, peel Sophie. It off, though, too. Oh, Dad says oh, peel it off. Take it so off and I I'll give it? you a new one. <laughs> Sophie tried to fix it. But she's like me. It was tricky. Dad, it was... You can on it. Oh, well. Like it, this part was on. Oh, well, oh. it probably just was coming off. <laughs> but lots of glue. What? So, what'd you get? Oh, Special <laughs> underwater patch. Underwater glue. Underwater glue. All right. She goes. There she goes again. It's gotta be harder than you think. Open. Okay. 
I have to start again. It's harder than you think. Both under at the same time. Sophie is offering moral support. Okay, bye bye. Guys, watch. Okay, just leave the lever straight. Go back. Oh, it's not leaking. It's not leaking, so just wait. Did you push it on with your fingers so it's nice and firm? Wait and then push it on. No! <laughs> 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 Sophie, you want me to just lift you up? No! Okay, then don't do it again! <laughs> she actually squeezed! <laughs> so you're acting Please. like you're riding a horse? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Squeeze and <laughs> two points. Two points. <laughs> two points. You drowned your horse. You just drowned your horse. You just drowned your horse. Um, we are gonna end today's vlog, but before we do, I'm gonna give a shout out to Caitlin Bragg. Her comment of the day says. I have to say I've been riding for a long time and I never thought I would find a best friend like my horse. And me and my horses are greatly bonded. I hope that the girls can find a horse that bond to them like my horse did with me. We are inseparable. And by the way, I love the videos and the girls. Never give up. Like God would say, believe in me and you will do all great things. Believe in God, yeah, and you will do all great things. And I believe that, so thank you. Thank you very much, Caitlin, for that awesome comment. And thank you all to all of you for all of your amazing comments. We've had such amazing comments. I love chatting with you all on Instagram and responding to your comments. And I share so many of them with Gabby. Okay, you guys, that is it for today. Tomorrow is a barn vlog day. And yeah, we're... So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I mean, <laughs> thumbs up. And... If you, um, and leave a friendly comment down below, down below, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>